Hello everyone, this is Mr. Santos again and for today's lesson uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to install the uh, Flip Utility drivers so that we can upload our hex uh, files containing our programs onto the target hardware, the actual device containing the microcontroller, the AT90 USB 1286, um, which we call the blue boards okay and I will show you in a different video I will, I will give you a, a brief tour of the of the blue board blue boards themselves but the purpose here is to show you how to install the drivers and the reason you have to learn how to do this is because our laboratory computers usually reboot or restart into a fresh state uh, sometime in the middle of the night okay uh, so therefore the drivers when each week when you come into lab and you want to use the blue boards you have to install the drivers so I'm going to show you how to do this because you will need to do this by yourself uh, every week okay so here's what would happen when you hook up you know the blue board only has one wire and that is the USB cable okay so when you hook up the USB cable onto the blue board and number you turn the board on two and number three you put the board in bootloader mode then you will see the device show up okay now there's a variety of ways that we could look at whether the device whether you need to install the drivers or not okay I'm gonna show you in this video how to do that so you know how to diagnose driver problems on your own okay so what you would do is that you know in our machines we have Windows 10 okay in this video I'm using Windows 8 okay but you would you would use a, a similar approach basically you hit you click on the Windows icon or whatever icon you use to find programs depending on your machine and usually people don't know where to find uh, 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 you know applications so they would just probably search for them by typing them I would just say control panel okay and then find the control panel icon and then when this panel comes up and this is the panel that you're looking for you want to go ahead and find device manager okay and here we see the devices so I'm gonna go ahead my my board is already plugged in the USB cable and turn on I'm gonna put it in USB mode so I'm gonna say bootloader reset reset bootloader and then notice that it shows at mill device and notice that it doesn't have um, an exclamation icon so this tells me that this device is actually operating properly all right um, so go here properties so I'm going to show you suppose it doesn't work so let's go ahead I'm going to go ahead and driver I'm going to say uninstall driver because I'm going to show you Delete the driver software for this device. Let's just click on install driver. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the board in bootloader. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna pretend. Let's pretend we're in the lab. You go ahead and hook up the cable. You turn the board on, and then you do put the board in bootloader mode by uh, hitting the buttons bootloader and reset, and then letting go reset bootloader. And notice that it shows me the app mail devices and that's not what I wanted to do so let's go ahead and install again and let's go ahead and delete device software for this it's probably caching the driver and that's why uh, it's automatically installing it but that's not gonna happen for you so let's try it again I turn the board off suppose you're coming into the lab the first time turn the board on put it in bootloader mode so we do bootloader reset reset bootloader and this is where you're gonna see you will see the device 1890 USB 1286 uh, device firmware something upgrade I think uh, but notice that it has an exclamation mark it may be hard to see in the video but if you see this you must install the drivers doing the following procedure okay to do that right click on the device properties go to update or install driver whatever it says and then instead of saying search automatically do not do that search manually browse my computer now you need to find the folder containing the flip utility so if I go into the main C drive program files and find it's usually under ad mail let's see it may be 
if it's oh it's on uh, this is for 64 bit 64 bit applications so we want to go into x86 for 32 bit applications and we find at mail then we want to find flip then we want to find the USB folder and then just stop there at the USB folder click OK and next and yes I want to install it and then that's it and then click close and notice that your computer must restart and if it says that you that's actually weird it should not say that it's probably saying that for me but it should not say that for you that would defeat the purpose um, so we click close nope pretend this does not happen to you and you will see that now the drivers are installed there is no exclamation icon so we're good so let me go ahead and turn it off notice the device disappear I turn my board on next I put it in bootloader mode by pushing the buttons bootloader and reset then let it go reset bootloader and there it is if that is okay then we can go ahead and we can dismiss that and then to upload a program we do not do so by way of Atmel Studio we do so by way of a separate program called flip which should already be installed in the compute lab computers if this is not the case you can go on to atmail.com and you can download the flip utility and install it on your machine but once that occurs once again I have issues with my video recorder and double clicking uh, you will see this is the panel you're going to use so the first thing to do let's say you you built them you know you're working here and you have some kind of program and you generated a hex file you built it you're ready to test it on the actual hardware so the target hardware so the way that you would do this is you click the device and that is the 1890 USB 1286 please remember when we're we're talking about the actual physical hardware this is our target device 1890 USB 1286 do not confuse it with the simulator device we're using, which is the AT Mega 324. For the device, we choose that. OK, and it says start a communication by way of USB. So click there, open, and then again, provided that we have successfully installed the drivers, you should see this come to life. OK, at this point, we select this little book icon to load the hex file select the hex file you will pick a hex file that ends in dot hex okay you will actually navigate onto your solution folder remember you have to remember where you saved it you would navigate onto the solution folder in fact let me just show you an example here so let me just look for so you will go onto atmel studio 7.0 and then here's just some random projects okay and let's say we're talking about lab 2 all right, you would double click on lab 2 and then remember we always create a simulator and a target you want to go for the target we go ahead that and then depending on whether you had debug mode or simul this happens here if you build under debug mode or, or uh, uh, release mode there will be a folder called debug or release depending on where you are you double click there oh and there it is a dot hex file then you click OK to select the hex file and there it is and then you would uncheck reset okay because that means generates a watchdog reset pulse and we don't want that all right and then do not click start application instead click run run means upload remember that please it does not run your program it actually uploads the hex code all right click OK or run and then it'll flash your program and at that point what you would do is that you would go to the board and you would turn the switch off and then on do not hit the reset button the safest thing to do is just turn the board off because we gotta get it out of bootloader mode and turn it back on and then if your program was properly written you should see something happen and if you had an issue with the code that you need to debug or you, it doesn't quite work the way you expect it you just go back onto Atmel Studio refine your program and then try again alright you build it then you go back here you need to put the boot the board in bootloader mode and then you know repeat all of it again alright so that's basically how to install the drivers I need to remind you that every time you come to lab each week you may have to do this you could just try and see if flip fails or not uh, or you could again as I show you open the control panel and see whether it detects the device uh, the blue board once it, once it has been installed.
Okay, uh, on the next video, I'm going to give you a tour of the board so that you can see what the board actually look like, looks like and talk about some, just some minor quick features so that you just are aware of it, okay? Um, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention before you leave. Uh, when you log on to Black, log into Blackboard and you go on to Labs, okay, and you go on to Resources and Stembot USA Trainer Resources. This is basically stuff about the Blueboard, all right? That's what they call it. Um, towards the bottom, there is a Blueboard uh flip driver installation instructions so if you click on this pdf the pdf contains the instructions of basically what you saw in the video today okay so if you forget or don't have access to this video or the video is not enough please please remember that this pdf is accessible to you so that you could use it uh during the lab all right okay that's it i promise